Welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about how confusion and diffusion is provided using the product cipher. In our last classes, we clearly discussed about the design of the product cipher and what confusion and diffusion means is discussed in our previous classes. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, see, see, this is the design which we discussed in our last class. From this design, what's diffusion means? Diffusion means if there is a change in a single bit in the plain text, it is going to affect multiple bits in the cipher text. That is what diffusion means. The opposite around, you can check that. If there is a change in, see, one bit in the cipher text is going to be affected by multiple bits in the plain text. So, how, how this design is providing that? Let's try to understand this. If you take this 8th bit in the plain text, this 8th bit is went into the key mixer. It Here it is going to be done XOR operation using the key value means the 8th bit in the key value is going to be XOR with 8th bit in the plain text. Once this value changed based on the key, this 8th bit went into the S box 4 means it is affecting 2 bits in the S box. These two bits, 7th and 8th bit from the S box, 7th is going permuted to the second position, 8th is permuted to the fourth position. So now 7th is permuted to the second position, 8th is permuted to the fourth position. So the second and fourth bit are affected using this 8th bit. Now the second bit and fourth bits, the second bit went into the after doing the XR with the key and fourth bit XR with the key, the second bit goes into the S box 1, fourth bit goes into the S box 2, means second and fourth bit affecting two S box X, means it is affecting four bits from two bits from here and two bits from here. So the second bit which we got here is permuted to the first position, the first bit is permuted to the sixth position, the third bit as it is in the third bit, the fourth bit is permuted to the seventh position. So the final output 8 bit cipher text 1, 3, 6, 7 are affected using this. The same diagram, whatever the explanation we have provided, it is provided here. 8 XOR with the, it is going to affect 7 and 8 bits in the S box 4 and it is affected with 2, 4 and these 2 XOR with the, it is going to affect S1 and S2 S boxes. Now coming out of this, you are going to get the cipher text. See, if there is a change in single bit, it is going to affect multiple bits in the cipher text. That is what the diffusion means. Similarly, confusion means if there is a change in a bit in the key, it is going to affect multiple bits in the cipher text. See here, if K1, so this these four bits are affected using a K second and fourth bit in the key 2 and first eighth bit in the key 1. If there is a change in any one of this bit, this it is going to affect this. It is going to affect second and fourth bit. Again, XR with here. Again, it is going to affect this S boxes. And it is going to affect this four bits. If there is a change in single bit in the key value, it is going to affect multiple bits in the cipher text. So this is what diffusion and confusion which we are going to provide using product ciphers. So, in the real life examples which we are going to discuss in our coming classes, DES, AES, more complex than this system are going to be used. But the similar concept, product cipher concept is going to be used. Hope you understand confusion and diffusion concept from the product cipher. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.